What if your child suddenly became suicidal or violent? Some doctors say that happens all too often, and antidepressants are to blame. I'm Nicole Althaus. That story coming up. Norman, located on 577, exit 43. A Carolina boy confesses to killing his grandparents in their sleep. And now, almost two years after the murders, his case is at the center of a growing national debate. The 12-year-old was on prescription antidepressants. Some doctors blame the drugs and not the boy for the killing. The Food and Drug Administration just recently scheduled a hearing on the effects of antidepressants on children. Nicole Althaus has more in this Six News Extra on what some call a prescription for rage. Nicole? Well, Sonia, about two and a half million American kids are currently on antidepressants, but the FDA just issued an advisory warning about the risk for suicide among kids taking them. Now, a growing number of doctors are pushing to ban the drugs to anyone under 18, citing severe violent behavior. Jamie, that was hilarious. Yeah. She's just a kid from the suburbs. I have a meeting with Hattel tomorrow. I don't have anything to be angry about, to be upset about. If that's true, why was Jamie Tierney suddenly considering suicide? When I would shave my legs, I think I could slip my wrist. And, or, you know, like little things would trigger it, or I just think about how I would want to do it. What would happen if I did? My emotions were, you know, multiplied by ten. I would just want to beat things, you know, I'd hit my pillow, and I couldn't stop. I was so angry, and I'd scream and cry, and I couldn't stop crying, I couldn't stop screaming. She was angry, and I can remember saying, Jamie, why are you so angry? And she couldn't tell me, and I didn't know what was wrong. Jamie's mom, Jennifer, did all the things a parent is supposed to when a child's behavior suddenly changes. She asked about new friends, checked to see if something hurtful happened at her Winston-Salem High School. She was very confrontational and very belligerent and defiant in just ways that she'd never been before. The one thing she never considered, this little pill, the one her doctor prescribed for Jamie's migraine. It's a definite recipe for homicide and suicide. Dr. Ann Tracy is a national expert on the effects of antidepressants on children. She says the migraine pill Jamie was prescribed is an antidepressant called Effexor. And she says an alarming number of children prescribed antidepressants turn into monsters overnight. His eyes were vacant. He was as rigid as a stone and stared at the ground. Delanor Dupre says her 12-year-old grandson, Chris Pittman, turned into one of those monsters, shooting to death his paternal grandparents and burning their house down in Chester, South Carolina. And Chris would tell me when he did what he did, it was like he was watching TV and there's nothing he could do to change the outcome of it. Chris's dad, Joe Pittman, believes it was the antidepressant, Zoloft, that turned his son into a killer. Every case I look at, it goes right back to another antidepressant. After 14 years of research, Dr. Tracy is sounding the alarm to the FDA. We are all at risk. You never know. You could be walking down the street one day and somebody lose it on these drugs. At a hearing in February 2004, Dr. Tracy will present children from across the country, children like Chris and Jamie, as prime examples to the FDA that kids should not be prescribed antidepressants. If I can help other people, if I can tell them, you know, it's not you, it's the drug. I know you feel like you've become horrible horrible person and you hate yourself but it's not you now we discovered effects or the drug jamie took it's not even fda approved for anyone under 18 nor is it approved for the treatment of migraines we called jamie's doctor asking why he would put her on effects or through a spokesperson he said he had no comment in chris's case zoloft is fda approved but only for children with obsessive compulsive disorder not depression we called Chris's doctor, but he shut down his South Carolina practice and left no forwarding information. Nicole Althaus, 6 News. The prescription of antidepressants, Paxil, and Effexor to anyone under 18 has been banned in Great Britain, Ireland, and Canada. Studies there found kids that take these drugs had a greater risk of committing suicide, suffering from psychosis, mutilating themselves, and becoming violent. For more on the effects of antidepressants, go to WCNC.com. Another war.